Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at five different hot dog gadgets to see if they really work. That's today's video. I was a little surprised there were this many different hot dog gadgets to begin with, but today I'm going to start off with the simplest of the bunch, and this makes a single hot dog and bun. That's the Hot Dog Licious. Let's check it out. All right, I paid eight bucks for this one. It's got a vent on top. You simply put your hot dog in the chamber and it scores it for you. On top of that resides your bun. You nuke it for 55 seconds. Now if this works, that's a pretty good invention. 55 seconds to have your, your hot dog scored, cooked, and your bun steamed as well. Sounds like a great idea. Let's see if it actually works. For this one, I'm gonna try and ballpark Frank. Perusing these instructions here. Step one says to open the chamber, which I did. Press the hot dog down over the serrations. Oh, okay, that went pretty easily actually. And there was actually something oddly satisfying about pressing it on like that. Slide the chamber back on, simple enough. How about a ballpark Frank bun? So I guess you just kind of place it over like this. Seems easy enough. Then place the vent tray over the bun. Wow, that's it, huh? All right, 55 seconds, Let's see if it works. Can't be a minute, huh? it's gotta be 55 seconds. Now, while that's in the microwave, I know there's some people out there that scoff at the idea of microwave hot dogs, but if you're not one and this works, this could be a great way to make your hot dog all at the same time when you're steaming in the bun, the scoring the hot dog and cooking it. I actually have high hopes. I feel like it was well thought out, but is it well executed? That's the question. The suspense is killing me on this one. Okay, it's not unbearably hot. All right, it does smell like a cooked hot dog. Here we go. All right, so what I'm supposed to do now is turn the entire thing over so that the vent tray is on the countertop. Slide the cooking chamber open and dispose of the unwanted fat. There is, there is some hot dog juice in there. It's, hot dog juice does not sound like a good thing. Hot dog juice has been eliminated. It says the hot dog will fall onto the bun when it's opened. And... Oh, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Look at this. Oh, it's a, it's a steamed hot dog and it's cooked and scored. I'm a little bit surprised that it came out that good. Let me uh, put some mustard on here and take a bite. We've got a steamed bun, a scored hot dog and one minute in the microwave. I'm hoping it, it's at least somewhat cooked. All right, so I got good news and bad news. The good news is the hot dog itself was well cooked and it came out right, but the bun, it was a bit chewy. It didn't really taste as good as, it tasted fine, but the texture was not so great. I'm gonna do it one more time. I run, they say that you can do the bun half the time in the microwave and that might work better. So I gotta give it a fair shake, so let's try it out. Thirty seconds. All right, this is after thirty seconds. I'm just adding the bun for the remainder of the cook time. Crossing my fingers, this works. Here we go. All right, here we go. Once, once again, take two. I've, I've got faith in it. Hot dog delicious this time. Remove the nasty fat. There's some still fat in there. Reveal the beautiful hot dog. All right, there we go. Add a little bit of mustard. All right, take two looks about as good as take one, but this, the bun was only in half as long. Let's try this one. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, that time it was perfect. The bun was perfectly steamed. The hot dog was well cooked. It takes one more step, but it came out right. So I think the hot dog delicious was a success. Let's move on to the second item, which is the Nostalgia Coca-Cola brand hot dog toaster. All right, the Nostalgia toaster, it has a, not much to it. There's a, a stop button. You have a dial from one to five here. Lever which presses it down. And inside you got a place for two buns and two hot dogs in this chamber that comes out. I'm gonna try two different sizes. I'm gonna try the Ballpark Franks slightly longer and the classic Oscar Mayer. I'm going to pair the Ballpark Frank with the Ballpark Frank buns and I'm gonna pair the Oscar Mayer with the classic Wonder hot dog buns. I should point out that I actually ran the 
toaster through a cycle one time to burn off any smell. Some people are saying that the first time you do it, it might smoke. So I did that before filming this. And my friend Mike Benson also reviewed this a couple years ago. I'll link his review below because he goes into it from a slightly different perspective than I have. But let me get started and see how it goes. I'm gonna set this, I like mine a little bit more cooked. I'm gonna go like three and a half, three and a half. I'm gonna go Oscar Mayer on the left, Ballpark Frank on the right. Oh, much, much taller than that. Ballpark bun in the back, very tall. Wonder Bread bun in the front. And that's, uh, that's what we got. All right, well, let's, uh, let's see what happens. Press the lever down. And as with my friend Mike, he had to help the buns in and I'm gonna have to help these buns as well. All right, buns are in. Buns are in, hot dogs are in, we're cooking. Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I'm gonna stand by until these pop up. A lot of people online were saying that the buns get kind of burnt on the edges. I'll have to look out for that. Some people were saying the hot dogs, it kind of takes a little bit of trial and error to get it cooked right. So I'll look for that as well. I don't mind a little bit of burnt edges on the hot dog buns. Some people mind that, I don't. As these are cooking, I will say that it, some people said the different size hot dogs didn't fit. It doesn't seem like that's a problem. The, even the longer ballpark franks seem like they still have plenty of room to go. Oh, I just heard a crackle. I hear like a crackling. Oh. It just popped up, but it didn't go up all the way. Ooh, I feel like something is not right. Oh no. All right, the, the Wonder Bun, it's a strange burn. The Ballpark Bun, oh no. The Ballpark Bun is, is, is stuck in there. Let me get the hot dogs out. I'm gonna have to fish it out. All right, got it out, I got it out. I'm not sure the ballpark bun can be salvaged, but let's take a closer look at all these. The Wonder Bun, even though it's got this strange burn mark there, it actually feels kind of nicely toasted. All right, taste test of the, I kind of have to hold the ballpark together, but let me do a taste test. Texture wise and taste wise, the ballpark came out really well. I think if it hadn't got stuck, it probably would have been perfect. Let's try the Wonder Plus Oscar Mayer. The instructions even say that sometimes the buns will get jammed in there and you're supposed to unplug it before fishing it out, which I did. Aside from that, I actually think they came out good. The, uh, I actually kind of like the crispiness on these buns here. I feel like the hot dog could be slightly more cooked. I might have to play with the times a little bit to get it perfect, but I want to say that the Nostalgia Hot Dog Toaster does work, makes two hot dogs pretty quickly. It was a couple minutes, I think it was two and a half minutes uh, on the setting that I had, so that's not too bad. Although if you're not opposed to microwaving, this could make two of them in less time. But it will not toast the buns the way it did in the toaster, so it's kind of a trade-off. Let's try this one more time. This time I'm just gonna do one hot dog and one bun and see if I can get this to do buns properly. Once again, I have to nudge that in there All right, it worked. And the bun didn't stick this time. Ooh, there we go. Looking pretty good. When it doesn't stick, the buns come out nice. All right, for my next three, they're all gonna kind of work together. So uh, let me clean off this, my workspace here and get started for items number three, four, and five. The next contestants here, this is Curl a Dog. Actually came in a two pack for five bucks, which is a pretty good deal. I actually was gonna do this last year and it never arrived. So I'm, a year later, I'm finally doing the Curl a Dog. All this is is this hot dog score. You just put the dog in there, close it, and you score your hot dog. Then we're gonna move that to the Elite Gourmet Hot Dog Toaster Oven, which they, I love the sticker here. They, if they put, really gonna put the sticker on the night, that's gonna make a mark, huh? Great, appreciate, appreciate that. This makes four hot dogs and steams four buns. A lot of people in the comments said the buns are much more difficult to squeeze in there than they show in the pictures, but I'll work with that. Not much to this one, all you have is a, just a timer, on off switch, very simple. And then finally we have the hot dogger, which this allows you to drill a hole in buns so the hot dog goes in there. Now most hot dog buns are, have a slit in them, but over here I got a couple hot dog buns that don't, so hopefully I can get it to work on one of these. Got kind of an assembly line of stuff to try out here. First up the curl a dog, then toaster oven, then hot dogger. First up, I'm gonna score two hot dogs with the curl a dog. I'm gonna do one of the ballpark Franks and one of the Oscar Mayer and see how it goes. First up, Oscar Mayer. Well, it looks very small in there, doesn't it? 
Now there really isn't much to this. You just put it in there and close it. It says gently press the hot dog down on the ridges. All right, that wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't very gentle, but it did go in there. Close the unit and insert the skewer. Oh, I, def I definitely felt it crunch right through that hot dog. It feels like one of those magic tricks with the girl in the box. He's putting the knives through there. Open the unit. I guess the skewer is so it comes out of there more easily. I, I thought the skewer was for cooking purposes, actually for removing purposes. All right, well, that, that seemed to work pretty well. It's nicely scored. Look at that. Wow. Let's try a ballpark Frank. Much longer. Hiya! Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Let's see. Inserting the skewer. That's not coming out the other side. All right, there it goes. All right, I think I got two nicely scored hot dogs. We'll see how they cook, but that was a pretty easy process. Now let's load up the hot dog toaster oven. All right, according to the instructions, the first thing you're supposed to do is put your four hot dogs, up to four hot dogs on here. Load up your buns. Let's do it. I got these loaded up. I got my Curla dog scored Oscar Mayer Wiener. My Curla dog scored Ballpark Frank. Non-scored Oscar Mayer, non-scored Ballpark Frank. Well, it's going to be a tight squeeze in there. I have to put one sideways. Wow. People were saying that's kind of a tight squeeze and they, they're not kidding. All right, you're supposed to also leave. This is not supposed to be down. That's why they have the sticker here, which you can't remove. It says, rot turn the on off switch. Turn the dial to the required cook time. What's the required cook time? It doesn't say. It goes up to 30 minutes, but then it says it'll take 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to go 15 minutes. There's a notch there that's very hard to see. That's not very easy to see. These do not blink. For some reason, my camera is making it blink. And then they're off. Now we wait. While the hot dog oven has about eight minutes left, I might as well try the last item, which is the hot dogger, which I paid 10 bucks for. It looks like a very brutal item or maybe some sort of a Minecraft building. I don't know. But the idea behind this one is that you get there are some buns that don't have slits in them. And a lot of people were complaining on Amazon that most hot dog buns have a slit. You don't really need something like this. But say you have a hot dog bun that doesn't have slits. You can create a nice opening for your hot dog to slide right into, ideally. At my store, I got the closest I could find to the buns they were using in their demonstrations. So we shall see. You're supposed to basically just use it like a drill bit and go right through it. It's going to be kind of close. It's the width is very close to the width of the entire bun, but let's see what we got here. Oh, this is, I don't know. Hey, maybe I'm getting, maybe I'm getting there. Oh, come on now. I had a, I had a feeling this was going to be too thin. I mean, that's the only buns I could really find. Look at it, splitting it. Well, this wasn't exactly a highly rated item anyways. <laughs> let me, let me try the bigger of the two types of buns and see if I can get that one to work. I'm going to say already, already seconds in, it's already a failure. This one is a little bit thicker. I think it might, I might be able to get it in there. Oh, I'm making progress. Oh yeah, I'm doing it. But as soon as you get to this bigger part, it starts to split and I'm only this far in. And by the way, there were absolutely no instructions with this either. It just came in a bag. I guess it made a hole in it. Not impressed with the hot dogger at all. I'm going to save all the hot dog buns I bought in my entire life. Probably well over 90% of them already have a slit down them where you can just place the hot dog in. So. Is this really necessary? Probably not. Let's go back over to the hot dog toaster oven and see how it's holding up. All right, the timer, the timer shows only a couple minutes left and these look nice, feel nice too. I actually, honestly, I kind of like the scored ones a little bit better. Look at that, that's a, the Curla dog did a nice job of scoring those. The scoring on the Curla dog is actually better than the scoring on the 
microwave cooker. So I'm pretty happy with the Curla Dog. This is just about to go off and I can't wait to see how, uh, how these turn out, especially the buns, because the buns are hidden in there and I don't know what's going on. It's a great mystery. I thought it was a nice loud timer going off. Oh, and they continue to, they continue to roll. Ooh, that's a little bit tricky. That's gonna be a little bit tricky. I'm gonna have to use two hands for that one. It's, it's funny, I turned it off and it's still, it's still ticking. Now it just stopped, interesting. Let's see how these buns look. All right, they're warm, not hot. All right, here's what we got, looks pretty nice. We got four hot dogs, four buns. Took 15 minutes, hot dogs feel done. The buns aren't quite as warm as I would like. They are toasted though, I guess that's the most important thing, they do feel toasted. But let's not forget about these as well, <laughs> if I can even get them in there. I'm gonna take the longer, I'm gonna take the ballpark frank that's not scored, because it's easier to handle, and see if I can stick it in there. Ugh. Maybe I should use some mustard to like, I don't know. That's as far as it goes. It doesn't go any further than that. All right, let me try the Oscar Mayer. I mean, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna put that aside. I'm gonna try the scored ballpark frank with the ballpark frank bun. Looks nice. And I absolutely must have mustard on this. Time for the taste test of the combo curl -a dog with the hot dog toaster oven. All right, as far as the toaster oven goes, everything was thoroughly cooked. The buns were lightly toasted. I might go a little bit longer to get the hot dogs a little bit browner and the buns a little bit more crispy, but otherwise it certainly worked as it's supposed to and it was a very easy process. So in that case, I think the toaster oven worked quite well. It's actually been several days since I did those original tests and I wanted to spend a few extra days trying these out off camera to see what I think about them. And now I'm prepared to give you my final ranking. Number five is still the hot dogger. I think that most buns already have a slit. Even the ones that don't, this still seems to struggle with. I'm not sure that I see much of a purpose for this. This is a distant number five in my ranking. For number four, I'm gonna go with the Elite Gourmet Hot Dog Toaster Oven. I think that it does work, but it's really slow. It's the most expensive of all these gadgets. It has kind of a retro feel to it. It's pretty good at keeping hot dogs warm, but as far as just throwing together some hot dogs, this is definitely the slowest of the bunch. Probably not something I'm gonna keep using. Number three is gonna be the Nostalgia Hot Dog Toaster. Now this would rank number one if the buns would consistently pop up, but my son and I have both used this quite a few times and the buns seem like they stick half the time, which really kind of is disappointing when you have to fish them out of here. If it worked consistently with the buns popping every time, this would be number one. When it's inconsistent like that, they gotta put it number three. Number two is surprisingly high on the list is the Hot Dog Lish is the microwave cooker. This might even rank number one if it wasn't the fact that it's a microwave hot dog cooker, but it does exactly what it's supposed to and it does a pretty good job. I've just found that using the bun halfway through makes it perfect on the Hot Dog Lish. It's actually a pretty good product. Number one, I'm going with Curl a Dog. It's not something that's for everybody, but if you like scored hot dogs, this is the way to do it. It's easy, it's simple, it's, it works consistently every time, and it's only five bucks for two of them. The Curla Dog is my top pick, but although I do think everything but number five were all pretty good. Have you used any of these products? Tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time.